Erev Tov Rabotai, we are continuing with our Mishnah Yomi, Masechet Yoma. We are up to Perik Bet Mishnah Dalid. Today's Mishnah Yot should be Lerun Nishmat, Neria Ben Svetlana, Aran Baev, and Eliyahu Ben Burcha Yisraelov, Menuchatam Began Eden, Amen. The Mishnah describes the third lottery, Hapayis Ashilishi. The third lottery was conducted as follows, Hadashim Lektoret Bo Vafisu, the appointed official announced, those who are new to the service of burning the incense come and participate in the lottery. This lottery was open only to Kohanim who had never offered the incense before in their lives and not to those who had already done so. Now the Torah in Sevil Dvarim chapter 33, Psukim 10 and 11 implies that a Kohen who burns the Ketoret is blessed with wealth. The rabbis therefore decreed that a Kohen who had already performed the service may not do it again. Rather, he must make way for someone else, so that as many Kohanim as possible are given the chance to offer the Ketoret and receive its blessings. The Mishnana describes the fourth lottery, Varivi. The fourth lottery was conducted as follows, Hadashim Imishanim. The official announced those who are new come together with those who are experienced. Now, since the previous lottery was closed, to those who had already performed the service, the official made it clear that this lottery is open to all. This lottery selected the Kohen who brings the limbs of the Tamid up from the ramp and tosses them onto the fire on the altar. As stated above in Mishnah 3 in the notes that we mentioned, the limbs were first placed on the lower half of the ramp and a Kohen then carried them to the top of the altar and threw them onto the fire. The reason for this division is to have more people participate in the service. The more people who serve Hashem, the greater is His glory. Nevertheless, although six Kohanim carried the limbs to the lower half of the altar, only one Kohen took them from there and cast them onto the fire, as Rashi explains on page 26b in Masechet Yoma. That is in Rabotev Mishnah Dalid. Mishnah he now teaches that the number of Kohanim involved in bringing the Tamid and its associated offerings vary depending on the occasion. Tamid Karev Betisha, the Tamid was sometimes offered by nine Kohanim, Ba'asara sometimes by ten, Be'ahadasar sometimes by eleven, Pshtemasar sometimes by twelve, Lo Pachot Yoter, but there were never fewer than nine Kohanim and never more than twelve. The Mishnah explains Ketzad, how is this so? Atzmo Betisha. The Tamid itself was offered by nine Kohanim, six carried the parts of the animal, one carried the Chavitin, one the Mincha, and one the wine. Now the Mishnah deals only with the services performed from the time the Kohanim started taking the limbs of the Tamid to the ramp. It excludes the four services that were done earlier, such as slaughtering the Tamid and throwing its blood. Now the Mishnah, this Mishnah disagrees with the previous one which taught that another Kohen carried the limbs from the ramp and put them on the fire. Rather, according to our Mishnah, the same Kohanim who put them down on the ramp returned later and took them from the ramp, as the Mishnah says later on in Mitzachet Tamid, chapter 5, Mishnah 2. This is the basic number of Kohanim required to offer the Tamid each morning. The second one, Bechag, on the festival of Sukkot, Biyad Echad Slochit Shel Maim, one additional Kohen had a flask of water in his hand, which he carried to the ramp. The water was later poured onto the altar. Now, when the morning Tamid was offered on each day of Sukkot, water was poured onto the altar at the same time as the wine, as it speaks about in Mishnah Mesech and Sukkot, chapter 4, Mishnah 9. Rech Khan Asara, therefore, we have here 10 Kohanim. Then the third one, Ben Arbaim Be'ahadasar, the afternoon Tamid was offered on ordinary days by 11 Kohanim, who at Smo Betisha, the Tamid itself, was carried by 9 Kohanim, like we said, Ushnaim Be'adam Shnek Zirei plus 2 Kohanim, who had 2 blocks of wood in their hands, each Kohan carried 1 block to the altar and put it on the pile of firewood in preparation for for the afternoon Tamid. Now in fact, 2 blocks of wood were placed on the altar in the morning as well, for the sake of the morning Tamid. However, that service is not included here since like we mentioned, our Mishnah does not deal with the services performed before the limbs of the Tamid were taken to the altar. The blocks for the afternoon Tamid, however, are included because those blocks were placed on the ramp after the limbs of the after afternoon Tamid were placed there. 
ובשבת ב-11, on Shabbat, the morning תמיד was carried by 11 כהנים, הוא עצמו בתשעה, the תמיד itself was carried by 9, ושניים בידם שני וזיכי לבונה של לחם הפנים, plus two כהנים who had two ladles of לבונה in their hands, one ladle carried by each כהן, which were burned on the altar, now every Shabbat, two ladles of לבונה, the frankincense, the sap of a certain tree, were put on the table in the temple, together with the לחם הפנים, the 12 loaves of specially baked bread, the לבונה and the לחם הפנים remained on the table until the morning of the next Shabbat, when the לבונה was burned on the altar, and the bread, which miraculously remained fresh, was given out to the כהנים, as the Mishnah says, Mishnah Menachot, chapter 11, Mishnah 7, ובשבת שבתוך החג, על השבת that fell during the festival of Sukkot, Besides the 11 koanim of an ordinary Shabbat morning, Biyad had Saluchit Shel Maim, one had a flask of water in his hand, as required in every day of Sukkot for a total of 12 koanim. And that is in Rabotai of today's Mishnah Yomi. Ba'u Chadunai Le'olam. Amen v'amen.